Hello and welcome to the finals of the Herp Amateur Tournament. This is the final game between uh, Clan Herp and Clan Zero Quantum. Uh, I am Pobiega and I will be your shoutcasting host, joined today by Bratalix. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. So, we're now in the banning phase and uh, the first ban was uh, done by Legion side as always uh, and they chose to ban Rhapsody, the very strong S2 support hero. Uh, with that ridiculous ultimate that makes everyone invulnerable, yeah. <laughs> uh, other bands are Hellbringer, Corrupted Disciple, Plague Rider, and Parasite. Hellbringer, strong, strong ultimate, Corrupted Disciple, just a very strong hero overall. Also been used very much by both teams throughout the tournament. Plague Rider is another very strong support hero, also taken out, uh, possibly because of his extreme lane present. Parasite has been used in almost every game we've seen this tournament as well. Uh, so I guess that's why he is banned too. Uh, any other comments on the bans? No, I just find Torture... Well, I guess it's a good ban. I mean, Torture can pretty much carry a game... He can. ...solely on himself, so... I find... Yeah, the picks is going to be really interesting now. See what they first pick. Yeah, we can see that CQ are actually right-clicking some heroes for us, but War Beast to Amon Ra and Wild Soul <laughs> sounds like a strange pick -up. Yeah, I doubt we're going to see those three picked think... on the same team. Oh, we have... Yeah, Jurgle is... Uh, Jurgle actually played a mean Plague Rider in the first game I casted with them. Uh, but that hero is banned. Oh, we have two more bans. Silhouette and Kraken. Yes, well, Silhouette, kind of strong mid-hero, and Kraken's ultimate is, uh, is as everyone knows, really annoying to to yeah. counter. Mm, yes, Silhouette has this uh, debuff thing uh, called uh, Reckless, or whatever, something. Uh, whenever you attack the same target, basically you deal more damage to them for every executive attack, and that makes her extremely strong harasser in the early game, so she can definitely win the mid lane really easy. Yes, quite easily. So, uh, first pick goes to Legion, and it's Slither. Mm. Slither can be played as solo, he can be a babysitter, uh, he can even play carry, or he can play support. He's, he's a very versatile hero with a very strong ultimate and a nice set of skills to complement that. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if they're going to uh, do a... At a trial lane, because then Slither is a good pick for the one of the solo lanes. That is very true. There has been some trial lanes in the tournament. Um, not sure if we will see it. Maybe. Uh, CQ has pulled a trial lane. I think her pass as well. Uh, but yeah, these, now the picks here for, for CQ will be very interesting. Magmus is a strong pickup. He's a very excellent support hero with that nice stun. Uh, starts at really low range, but grows up to a m very impressive range. Uh, and his other skills, yeah, he's ultimate real team killer. Yeah, when he picks up a portal key, the other team really has to be careful for not stacking up too much. Yeah. Nice initiate with that, and then just like some other heroes just run in, and then it's massacre. Yes, it seems like they are discussing their picks, but Magma seems to be one of them since uh, a lot of people has right-clicked them. Yeah, that's not, that. that it, Magma, you also also you often see like Magma is one of those heroes. Like if you don't first pick him, well, you rarely do first pick him, but you often see which layer is picked up, which oh, layer, another of those really strong support, which layer and Magma. So they went they went for the support picks with their first two picks there. Uh, which layer is a massive support hero? He has. A very nice long range stun. He has a miniature ice, which renders them silenced and slowed. And he also has a very strong ultimate that just instantly drops a hero to half life, pretty much. Yeah, it's a very heavy damage a nuke. Heavy nuke, yeah. It's the hardest hitting nuke in the game, at least it used to be. I think it's uh, the hardest hitting at level 6, but I actually think that Pyromancer yeah, Pyromancer actually scales at better level three, at level 3. It does a little bit yeah. more, yeah, that is right. Uh, so, okay, uh, for for Troll Brigade, Clan Herp, they were looking at a Cursed and Puppet Master there. Interesting. Puppet interesting. Master is a very strong tri-lane carry hero. Yes, it's uh, probably one of the best carry heroes in the game at the moment, yes, with his trial control and, and the ulti nuke. Indeed, he has so much crowd control with his first two skills and his passive, giving him a guaranteed crit and splash damage on every fifth attack. 
Yes, along with the uh, a base damage increase as well. That's oh, yeah. uh, something you have to look out for. Oh, that is true. Yeah, his, it actually increases his base damage for every time. Very strong last hitter, very strong harass, and without crowd controls, if you if you have like a stunner with you, you can easily get some kills. Polywog and Electrician picked up. So yes. we have a very stun-heavy lineup, at least, or disable-heavy lineup, we should say. Yes, Polywog is nice. I would like to see him going middle, but he he probably we'll will. See. He probably will. Yes. Uh, yeah. Or maybe Electrician. That is possible as well. Polywog, of course, having both a tongue-tied and also a hex, which is similar to Witch Layer's miniaturized. Yes, um, so I think they are quite the same. Yes, everyone in their team actually has at least one disable, and two of them have a two of them. Uh, electrician, uh, nice, really long duration stun with a grip, and then he also has the electric absorption nuke, which gives back mana depending on how many targets you hit with it. So uh, often picked early, early, early to um, to harass while not losing any mana while doing it. Very effective on the laning phase. Yeah, and I'm wondering what uh, a curse is gonna do with the herp uh, lane. Indeed. It does not look like they're going to do a try lane, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, Maybe a defensive one. True. Uh, a, a, a electrician's ulti also, very strong, uh, can be used to purge off a cursed shields, or even, I think it can even purchase ultimate. I'm not quite sure, actually, but yes, the shield uh, totally goes off. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tempest. Tempest and Bubble. So Bubbles will probably be one of their solos. Uh... Possibly mid, Tizlol has been going mid a lot this tournament. And Bubbles is very strong at going there. And Tempest, obviously a jungle hero. Uh, can also be laning, he can be a solo, he can even be in a dual lane. But you often see him going jungle or solo, getting that early portal key. At, usually as his first item with maybe a boots or a ring of the teacher in between, but nothing much else. Yeah, a, fa a fast portal key and that ultimate can really wreck out a lane by himself. Oh, definitely. Just blink in, get ulti on two or three people, and then just destroy them with follow-ups. Yes. So, Jurgle looking at maybe an Emerald Warden for their last pick. No, it goes for Aluna. Aluna, Aluna. It, Aluna is an intellect semi-carry. Yes, I guess uh, Aluna will, will be the care for, yes. for the uh, ZQ team. We'll Certainly see. looks like it. Uh, with her, uh, yeah, oh, and if she uses her ultimate and then pops her stun, she actually has a, up to a 5 second stunning ability, really strong. Yes, and she can also global hit every, anyone with his power throw this if is she true. activates an ultimate, so it's, a, it's very a annoying to deal with. Hard skill shot to land, but quite possible if you are, if you are good at it. Oh, whoops, mm -hmm. sorry, showing some stuff on the screen there. Along with Polywog Priest, I think uh, with the tongue tie you are actually guaranteed to hit it from anywhere if they uh, if they combo it right. That is true. That is definitely true. Um, we might see that happening, and that would be that would be fun uh, seeing some big plays there with that power throw. So we're finally going in game, and I should probably hide my friends list from the screen as well. <laughs> now let's see if. Um if any of the teams is going for a try lane, I, I guess... Uh, hmm. I'm not sure, actually. Ne neither am I. We might see one, we might not. Let's... Uh, I will be checking the Legion side, so you can go and check the Hellborn. See what's going up with them there. Alright. It seems... Let's see. So it seems to go Aluna top, at least. Mm -hmm. Magmus is picking up some wards. They appear to be discussing what lane... Uh, accursed, accursed going bottom, uh, together with Tempest. So Tempest will probably go into the jungle, I guess. Yeah, it looks like he will be denying a creep for the mid lane uh, before he goes into jungle. Slither heading top. Puppet Master heading to the bottom. And Bubbles will then be going mid. Tempest will be denying a creep top to help. Slither will probably be soloing top. As it looks at the Hellborn side, we're going to have Witch Slayer and Electrician going to the bottom lane, along with Polywog taking the mid lane. At top lane, we're going to have Magmus along with Aluna. Mm, indeed. Uh, we have the, the Hellborn Courier going out to do a little jungle scouting there, see if there... Uh, there has been a lot of first blood on the middle lane with uh, two stunners <laughs> hiding in the, in the forest. This has been a, a reoccurring theme in almost every single game played. 
but CQ have been very active with using that courier to scout that out. They actually... I'm not sure if it was CQ. Uh, I think it was CQ versus uh, Giggity. Where in the game 2, they actually saw the entire team hiding in the jung in the top left jungle uh, trying to get a double kill on that on the top lane early game but no nope, they saw it with the courier nothing happened there so the creeps have spawned and are heading towards the lanes um, it, we do actually yes we do see uh, slither soloing top uh, with a with a cursed and puppet going bot and tempest in the jungle Looks like both teams are denying the uh, creep spawns of both the bottom lane and top lane, so uh, no one will be able to pull uh, at least the easy camps. Yes, indeed. I wonder how uh, how a, a Slither is going to play against Magmus and the Luna, because they have both stuns, and they he do doesn't really have a way to get, uh, to well to escape. No, he only has he has his slowing spray, but that does not last for very long, and it gradually fades off. Uh, so far. Aluna is uh, not getting any last hits either. <laughs> so they're going 0 for 0 in that lane. She gets her first last now. Mid lane, we have, yeah, Bubbles against Poliwog. Poliwog getting an early experience advantage there, but getting probably from his uh, denies. He has gone 5 for 5, while uh, Bubbles has not been very active about denying. And yeah. he's taking some early harass there with the electric jolt. We oh. have, do have a pause coming in from the Herb team, and we'll see what happens. Hoping we get an explanation in chat. It usually does happen. Um, oh yeah, for anyone, uh, you will be watching this later, hopefully on YouTube, but uh, we had some problems with the delay server, so we are unable to cast this game live, unfortunately, but it will be recorded and then uploaded for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> And if we look at the really bottom lane, we have the Puppet Master having a hard time getting the last hits off. He has a two last hits on offensive and two denies, so his uh, form is actually just starting off pretty bad, but yeah. hopefully it's going to skyrocket afterwards. And Electrician, the farmer on the other team, uh, he has gone two for four, so slightly better denying. Oh, there we go, picking up two nice last hits there with his Electric Absorbation. That skill is very strong for doing right. just that. Here we go. Yes, indeed. So yeah, right now, early game, they're not so much happening, they're just sitting back, farming, trying to get those last hits and the nice in. I guess the action is gonna start up on the top lane with uh, Magmus and Aluna initiating on Slither. Yes, Slither is only, it just now gets level 2 with Aluna and Magmus having been it for a little longer while, so he's not getting that much experience. The denies going out for both Aluna and Magmus are just destroying his experience, and he only has two last hits. He's not having a good time at that lane with his short range. This is going to be very hard for him to actually have any lane presence of all, but he managed to get something nice off at least, so Indeed. as long as it doesn't die too much, I think it should be fine. Yes, it should, um, because the Herb team, they do have Tempest in that jungle, and he is a, he's getting a steady stream of experience and gold without taking it from the lanes. And we have some action going on on bottom lane, but the uh, electrician and witch layer is opening up on the accursed, but it's easily held back from puppet master, so nothing really happening. Indeed. And they, they probably, they are going to on a curse, because a curse, when he puts that shield on someone, they are actually dispelled. So if they have a stun, you can dispel it. Very yes, indeed. But obviously he cannot do that on himself when he is stunned, so that's probably why they're going for him. Before he hits level 6... And when he gets that ultimate, when he can turn damage into healing. And if we look at the middle lane, we have Polywog actually putting up 15 creep kills against the against Bubbles, which only have 6 and 2 denies, so clearly ad an advantage for the Polywog here. Yes, Polywog played by Jurgle, the brown player. Uh, even though, it's funny, he was actually voted the MVP for the ZQ's team in all the games so far. Uh, oh. He's a real. Oh, and hold that thought. We have a curse getting uh, initiated oh. on the bottom lane from uh, the electrician. Curse taking a lot there. of damage. Electrician pay taking some damage too. With oh, puppet going out there, really putting the hurt on them. Yeah, a curse with pops both. A health pot, so he gets away clean. But yeah, with both the hold and the taunt from pu pu puppet master, he's going to be uh, good at holding them off. Oh yeah, definitely. Quite a strong defensive lane here with both puppet master and the cursed. Indeed. 
At level 6, though, when an electrician can purge his shields, I guess both him and Witch Slayer is gonna try to go for the kills much harder. Oh, indeed. Uh, well, as soon as Witch Slayer hits level 6, they're gonna definitely try and get something done with that ultimate. And in the middle lane, Poliwog picks up the 4 minute rune, which was a regeneration. He bottles that up. It we is. have an initiate going on the top lane with Magmus going on Slither and the follow up from Aluna, but Slither is actually managing to hold off and Slither it's a turn away. Yeah, Magmus on. has low health now. Magmus has low health, he's probably waiting for that poison spray to wear out before he uses his health potion. Um, yes, and he is helps. indeed. And so did Slither, so they're back to normal there again. And in the middle lane, we see Poliwa getting delivered his boots. So he is uh, he's slightly ahead. Uh, actually, quite a lot are heading farm over Bubbles. Bubbles at 11, 12 creep kills. Uh, two Poliwogs, 26. Doubling his farm indeed. Oh, and he, that electric jolt, especially with that regeneration, he can just spam those spells. Yeah, that's very strong, and he's gonna be uh, ending up level 6 against Bubbles level 5. Indeed. Tempest very just good. now hits level 5 again, so one more level till he gets that incredibly powerful ultimate. Uh, yes. And the side lane is still level 4, so uh, if he gets level 6 before they hit level 6 and he can come out there and really hit that, hit that ultimate on both of them, that could easily be a double kill. And, incidentally, maybe even a first blood, since that has yet to happen. Yes, indeed. I'm still interested when, uh, when Magmus and Aluna is going to put the pressure on, because now Slither has actually out-leveled Aluna and Magmus, and so he's doing farm, a really good job. And his farm has been picking up. He now has actually managed to get a whole 10 last hits, which is quite impressive with his low range versus such a deadly lane combo. So he's only yes, he's only go he's, he's going at 50% of all the thought we have Tempest coming in on the bottom lane on the level 5 is still going on Witch Slayer. Yeah, oh, he dodges the stun from Witch Slayer. Witch Slayer is holding. Witch Slayer has oh, Witch Slayer goes down to Puppet Master for the first blood. That's a 420 gold advantage right there. And, and oh, now we have Tempest uh, recharging his stun and getting the shield from uh, a curse so he yeah, can dive. No, he pulls back. He, oh, because, yeah, because Poliwog is coming in. He's level 6, but the ward catches it. This ward right here on the side there. Nice play from Herb, taking the first blood and uh, not wasting Tempest ulti since it was only level 5 when he got in. But still, a nice kill and a lead. Very nice kill indeed. And, of course, giving the kill to the carry, giving him that early gold advantage. May since uh, in this game, your carries, if they get early farm, they will actually be able to farm faster. So you're actually just increasing their gold by a lot by giving them these early kills. And Puppet Master currently sitting at 900 gold. So it should be interesting to see what he picks up. While Aluna actually has 1,600 gold. Also under wondering what she's going to pick up. She's even yet to get her boots. Oh. That is so, uh, a little bit risky, but I guess she's not so afraid of Slither solo. Uh, Slither hits level 6, so he now has access to that deadly, deadly poison ultimate. Poison burst, which uh, it unfortunately cannot kill by its own, but it will m very often bring down heroes to one health. So if you manage to get the poison spray or just an auto attack with toxicity off, that might be a kill. Yes, indeed. If we look at the mid lane now, Bubble has actually been managing quite well uh, since oh, uh, Polywog, Polywog is going off. Polywog is heading down to the bottom lane to gank. And while Electrician is going for Puppet Master, which Witch Slayer will see if the hasted Polywog is going to match up. No, he's not. No, oh, no, the tower even cancels his striders and gets some nice hits on him. So Polywog, he does have that regeneration rune. In 10 seconds, he has to pop it. So probably going to... Yeah. Yeah, they're going to push the lane a little bit, and then he's going to go back to mid. Yeah, this is really giving Bubbles what he needed, time to really farm and catch Indeed. up from Polywog here. Uh, he's still on, he's still behind on creep kills, but he is, he, is getting, he's, he is getting some free farm here, which is obviously really important for him. And it looks like the Electrician and Witch Slayer is going to hunt for uh, Tempest. Tempest here in the woods. Indeed. But, but he's actually quite safe if yeah. he doesn't go up here. He does. He does have that. He does have that elemental. Oh, did it fade just ah, in time? Did he miss it? Did he miss it? I'm not sure. That elemental was placed just no. so that it would see him. But no, it appears that he did actually see it in the last second of that elemental's life and dodged them successfully. 
Yeah, now we have Witch Slayer and the Electrician heading back to the lane. And Puppet is getting more free farm. A cursed wards, but the enemy team did have a ward there, so they probably saw that. They might choose to counter that ward if they do. And if we look at top lane, Magmas is gearing up for an initial stun on on Slither with Luna, but Slither is... I guess she, he caught wind of it because he's playing really defensive now. Yeah, he's playing string, staying away from the right side of the of the four jungle entrance there, so he cannot get initiated on until Magmas gets more levels on that stun of his. It's still only level 3, uh, so not maximum range yet. Uh, in the Bottom lane, oh, we, we have, have electrician. a stun, stun on Puppet Master, but the shield instantly comes out to dispel it, and they actually choose to... Oh! And nice here comes taunt. Tempest. Nice taunt. We, will we see an ultimate? Oh, we see a... Oh, Puppet Master kills Witch Slayer. No ultimate from Tempest going down just yet. But now Pu now Polywog jumps in on a ward trap on Puppet Master. And Tempest is coming back and he has, still has the Puppet ultimate. Master, He's gonna pull him off. Oh, the ultimate! The ultimate! Oh! We have a Polywog curse. goes down. Electrician, will he be able to get away? The power throw comes in. Tempest is getting really low. But and he runs away. Oh, Polywog... Oh. Oh, uh, Bubbles comes in with a double damage ultimates on Electrician, and Electrician goes down to Bubbles. That was a no. really nice play there by her, get, catching three kills and not losing anyone, even though their uh, Puppet Master did take a lot of damage from those wards and the follow-up, but he just used the health pot, so now he's back to farming. Yes, really play well played indeed here, and in the meanwhile, Slither is just farming on the top, so... Uh, I'm not sure actually what's the plan for ZQ is here. Indeed. Uh, he's actually catching up in on farm um, percentually. He's not that far behind compared to Aluna, which is pretty impressive considering going solo against a double stun lane. And now if we look at middle lane bubbles, it's, uh, it's not actually playing active actively. He's I guess he's microing the courier. Yes, he is. He is sending up some items there. He's got a scarab ring and a homecoming stone coming, going up there. Oh, as well as a gloves of the swift and bolster garment. That is his. He's building his steam boots and his blood chalice. I just want to point out that Tempest just picked up his portal key, so he's gonna be able to really be a danger to the sidelines oh, now, definitely. as well as middle. Yeah, he now sits on a portal key, a ring of the teacher, and those. Red marchers for that extra little movement speed. One, yeah, when he blinks in and use the ultimate, which will be ready in one and a half minute again, that's that's gonna almost gonna gonna guarantee a kill. Yes, as long as the other team ain't gonna interrupt it. Yeah, it's as you said, it's gonna almost guarantee a kill. Oh, Aluna picks up her alchemist bones and her steam boots. That's what she was saving all that money for. Alchemist bones, um, an item that just. It instantly kills a creep and multiplies the gold earned from it by three. You, if you use it on the on Minotaur kings or um, other high um, high exp high gold creeps in the jungle, you can get some really nice farm out of that item. Yes, indeed. Uh, Aluna is really gearing up for the late game here. Oh yeah, it, I suspect a 40-50 minute game definitely, um, unless uh, unless they do ma unless Herp manages to just completely deny her. Uh, and if we, we look at the middle, we have uh, Polywog actually using ulti on the um, tower in the middle, and it's gonna probably go down if we don't see TPs coming in. And no TPs yet. Now, there we go. They have used the fortification, but still no TPs, so that is gonna be a kill on that tower with Polywog picking up that gold. That is a nice, nice gold. 200 for every member of the team, as well as I think it's another like 200 or so for Polywog himself. Yes, Polywog is actually the highest creep killer in the game at the moment, sitting on 84. And That's very impressive. And he also has 360 gold per minute compared to... Oh, Herp! Uh, Bubbles actually managing to get a kill on Aluna, but now... Oh, the uh, OCQ ports in and Slither and Bubbles goes down. Witch Slayer ultimate used, Bub uh, Magmus ultimate used. Uh, the question is, is Magmus, Magmus actually deny. dying? Magmus ah, nice deny. deny, nice deny. Always good to stay on your toes there. Uh, denying you still lose gold, but the enemy does not receive any. All very nice to do. So yeah, Polywog go actually farm lead in the game with uh, quite an impressive amount. He's actually o over 100 gold per minute ahead of the second best farmer, which is a Luna. Yes, that is very impressive indeed. So it looks like the Hellborn team is 
Yeah, I'd say they're doing quite well here with the farm at least. They are definitely. However, they are behind in gold. Um, I guess that is because of the the the, uh, the hero kill advantage that's currently held by Legion. And oh, now we have bubbles, bubbles and Slither bubbles going in on the Luna. Will see an ultimate? No ultimate. Was it on? Cool it was on cooldown. It was on cooldown for another few seconds. Another 15 seconds. That way it would have caught a Luna there. But Magmas ports in and. Uh, yeah, Bubbles goes back to base. Uh, we have an Invis Electrician coming top. It's going to be interesting since Slither has no way really to know about there it. There is no ward, so Slither did not see that Invis being picked up, but he still chooses to retreat behind the tower. That is nice game since they're actually nice feeling that something is wrong. Yeah, to, uh, to people who are less experienced with Heroes New, it might seem like magic or hacking, but no, it's just... Something feels odd, I'm gonna hide behind my tower. That's what separates the good players from the bad. Obviously with the towers being able to see invisible, so Electrician not going too close. Electrician instead hoping to get something done in the middle now, because there is indeed no tower here. He goes with the ultimate to drawn in. Will we get a stun? Yes, we see a it grip on Slither. Slither. But oh, oh the Tempest ultimate! The in. Tempest ultimate! Bubbles silencing, getting two kills right there. Slither picks up a double tap and Tempest gets the last hit on Hell. And there we see the strength of Tempest just porting in there and the uh, very nice still save. Very everyone. nice save. Slither was in some trouble there with the double stun and possibly a Witch Slayer ultimate, but no. It's no such thing, said Tempest. He just blinked in, popped the ultimate, and got a triple kill. That's. Ooh, that's really that's strong. It's gonna hurt. And they're pushing the tower mid now. So we to even out the towers. And there it is. Meanwhile, Puppet Master is pushing bottom. Not not so much tower damage, but a lot of farm. Yes, it's up to 67 creep kills now, staying about 300 gold per minute, so he's not doing too bad. Yeah, he's up to 320, which is pretty much identical to Aluna's. Uh, but Aluna does have that alchemist bone, so we, I guess we will be seeing her gold jump up a little bit from that. And if we see at the bottom lane, oh. we're gonna have Witch Slayer and Electrician trying to go on Puppet Master, but failing. Yeah, Witch Slayer gets hit by the creep, so he's denying his Striders to kick in. He cannot close the gap, and Puppet Master just runs away. Toliwog is heading to middle, but huh, the ward there from x -Row will spot him. And Bubbles. Bubbles heading bottom. Are they gonna go on Electrician? I get Yes, they are gonna go on Electrician, definitely. Bubbles coming in here. Puppet we Master. Yes, we have a 3 versus 1 situation oh, here. Oh, Witchlayer is coming hold. in, Witchlayer is coming in from behind. Oh, there we go, Miniaturize, but... Oh, he's caught by Bubble Silence, and... Bubbles picks up a double tap. With the assist going down on both of them, all oh, for Puppet Master. Nice goal there. Really nice play there from Bubbles with that silence to prevent the ultimate or the stun. Yes, really well, and it, in the meanwhile they're having... Tempest and Slither actually pushing the top tower. It still has full HP, but it should go down quite fast. Those Tempest Elementals, they do actually hit really, really hard. Uh, especially when they... C but they do not get stacks for... Cl uh, they can clone once they've done s a significant amount of attacks. They do Will not we get see a deny? Oh, the no, tower we see goes Magnus down. going the tower on goes Tempest down. here. Tempest gets caught out by the stuns. And that's a that's a tongue tie. He's probably uh, gonna go down. Holdwog is taking a d loads Holdwog of damage. Holdwog dies from the elementals, and oh my god, Magmus gets away with very little health as well. Really nice there by by Tempest, focusing his minions on Holdwog and getting the kill. That's just insane. Yes, we have a uh, bubbles going in with blink now. Oh, and the timing from Magmus is timing, perfect. Bu oh, but but the shell surf and the silence, and he is dead. Very yes, nice uh, play. That was very good oh, play from Oh, we have Electrician Bubbles coming there. in with the ultimate, running really fast here. It's about to wear off, and he blinks away. Bye-bye, Electrician, bye-bye. I would guess that Magmus actually did that stun on uh, on a luck, case. but yeah. still very and nice play. And if it was uh, actually planned out, I must applaud him. Yeah, then that was some extremely sexy play. Oh, we have a curse doing some de-warding de here. Oh, gets caught out by the stun, but he's still going to get that ward down. Bubbles, obviously also having picked up a portal key, as we've seen from the last kills he's got there. Really strong item on his... Combined with that Shell Surf, he can cover amazing distance in really short time and also initiate and still use it to blink out to safety. And he's now going to refill his bottle with a Haste Rune. Yes, it's looking really good. And in the meanwhile, we have Puppet Master just standing on the bottle lane as planned, just 
picking farm. up the farm he needs. Oh yes, farm all game. And he, he's picked up a whis Whispering Helm now. That 20 damage, a little bit of armor, and the lifesteal. But the most important thing with it is the mind control. You can mind control a passive creep. Uh, you can use it to scout high ground, you can use it to stack ancients, or just maybe you really want that skeleton king for the root. I don't know, You can. it's just so very versatile. It's a really good item. And late game, you can build it to the symbol of rage, which... When you activate it, gives you a ridiculous amount of lifesteal. Yes, we have actually Puppet Master catching up in creep kills here. It's up to 97 soon, above the 100 mark. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, Polywag is only on 113. Oh, and a big miss here by CQ. They knew the top rune was ward counter warded, but they still chose to ward again. So Bubbles goes there, quickly dewards that, and... Oh, Polywag used his wards to push the top tower, but... Tempest and a curse were there to kill all the wards and save the tower. It's will it go into deny range? It looks like it might. 160 health, 131 no, health. No, it's so one HP away. It's one health away from in the deny range. I guess Xro is kind of pissed about that. That's what those kings yes. going out for. Indeed. And if we look at the bottom lane, we have Electrician, Magmus, and Witchlayer putting some pressure on the tower. But with Slither and Puppet Master there, they are not gonna uh, get far. No. Puppet Master has a four level advantage over the heroes there and Slither also with that. Oh, now we, we have, actually have all, all yeah. five heroes all going five down. Five heroes, here. but oh, Polywog is still heading to the middle and the other ones are heading to the lane, but oh, we have a lot of Slither wards there in the jungle. They're not gonna get anything down there. Yeah, he does not want to get surprised from behind here, Slither. Definitely not, definitely not. Some very, very clutch defensive play there. Those wards. They might not do a lot of damage yet, but they do... Oh, actually, they do. They're level 4 already. Yes, uh, but the most important part is here is totally the vision. The vision, Getting yeah. from the uh, other side of the forest here so the other team cannot really jump them. Being able to see... And... Oh, everyone... All the players are heading mid now. Uh, no, Magnus and Wishlayer are actually going back home. I guess uh, Wishlayer picks up some wards. He is indeed the ward bitch for now. Puppet Master picks up his um, his shrunken head, his magic immunity. That's really a strong pick up there. Indeed, indeed. Making him obviously then immune to magic effects such as stuns or mini strikes. Slither taking some damage. Tower. Oh, they're pushing with the the oh the elementals come out getting electric jolted. They're gonna go down really quickly. At the bottom lane now we have a four versus three situation here, but we have. Actually, with Puppet Master's uh, shrunken head, I'm not sure if the other team is actually going to be able to do much. No, and Tempest does have his ultimate ready, so if he needs, it can just come out and totally wreck the fight. Indeed. I'm not sure what Hellborn's plan is to deal with Puppet Master here, since his damage output is just going to go through the roof soon. Oh yes, he's already up to 150 auto attacks, uh, and then he has that crit, which is just really lovely. And Luna on the other yeah, hand is uh, actually haven't picked up any item here. She's, she's uh, gone for an good. Arcana. Maybe maybe we see a Hellflower, maybe we see Spell Shards. I'm thinking Arcana, uh, Hellflower. Really yes, common item. Yes, indeed. It really suits her auto attack damage as well as the silence and the increased damage taken. It's very oh, good yeah. to focus fire someone down or just stop a channeling like uh, Tempest. Like too, Tempest, definitely, indeed. And the tower goes down, Magnus stuns out of there, he does not want to get caught out. Uh, they're actually going to push, they're going to do a little bit of creep pushing, maybe we'll s they push for another tower. Polywog picks up a tablet of command and Aluna gets another arcana, so that is that is definitely a telltale, she's going for the early health flower. Yes, we have a quite strong push here with uh, the Elementals and Slither's ward. Yep. And with Tempest staying back, they have to be careful, an electrician goes in on Slither. No, no Tempest coming out yet, no Tempest yet. The, the Polywog Wards goes down, the Bubbles ultimate goes down. Oh, and the Magmus ulti is cancelled by the hold from Puppet Master, very beautiful. And Slither's ultimate has been on pretty much everyone the whole fight. Oh my god, it's a clean up. Only Witch Layer gets out with 5 health. Aluna also runs away, They're, they concede the tower. Double and tower push. Yes, and, and that uh, is a 3 0 victory here. And yes. oh, CQ is there we see the good the game. Very well played here so from the Legion side. Finished here by Herp taking the lead. 
by some very, very nice play there, especially at that bottom lane pushing there. So, we will probably be going into game two as soon as possible, and uh, we'll see you there. <laughs>